Hello everyone, and thank you for attending the first ever BATV Summer Programs Improv Show. We have a great show coming your way with eight different improv games performed by our fabulous cast of players. Throughout the games you see today are structured. Everything is on the spot. The improv starts now with our lovely friend, Brooke. First up, we have What You Do. In this game, a person mimes a random activity. After a few moments, someone comes into the scene and asks, what you doing? And the person can say anything except for what they're actually doing. The next actor will replace the first one and do what they're doing now. What you doing, Brooke? Um, I'm eating a lollipop. What you doing? I'm watering my garden. What you doing? Oh, I am dancing. What you doing? Breaking the fourth wall. How do you do that? What you doing? Oh, I'm just walking my fish. who has a big personality. The people in the car take on the personality of the hitchhiker. Oh, a hitchhiker. Are you okay? After me. Who? <laughs> Oh, that's so crazy because the other day, 
Oh. That's so crazy because the other day oh. I won 420 billion at the lottery. Oh, me too. I got Which the lottery. Lottery. I got the dollar power. Like they gave me an extra no nugget. Oh, no. You won good at all. Wow, it's, we're so excited that we and keep talking talk. over each other. Now I'm gonna spend. Wow. Now I'm gonna spend all that money on more lottery tickets. Yeah. Some, someone, oh. that's such a good idea. So, someone fixed my car for free. <gasps> wow, Who did it? it was so I, sticky I don't before. Know. It was, Remember? I don't know. It was a man. In, it was a man in a mysterious, in a mysterious cloak with a in, with a skull mask. Uh, do you wow. That's my friend. Yes, yes. No, you know Jeremy, Jeremy too. Yeah. Oh, oh my God, Jeremy. So oh. Hey, I, hey. Wow. Someone else would say something completely off the cuff and original. McDonald's about to close. Her. What? Up next is slideshow. In this game, someone presents a slideshow. The three people in the back poses as the pictures. Slideshow on on why bar on why bonds should be, should be illegal. So first up, they first up. I went to a bond yesterday and they refused to give me ice cream. Hey, come on, come on. And then then they refused to let me eat the pigs. I mean, come on. I mean, look at this picture. Look, look, look at this picture of them denying me eating the pigs. And then, then they had they had the audacity to have a chicken. I want a chicken. They had a chicken, and they didn't let me take it. So that's why they should be legal. Oh, and also because the one I went to, you know, had. Had you know several just open uh, open campfires near a bunch of uh, old wood. I mean, that's the least of the boys. Hello everyone. Do you ever have a problem with being made fun of? Well, today I'm going to explain to you how to not have a giant forehead. So step number one. You must make sure that when you are a child, your parents do not mold your head with your small, <clears throat> malleable bones. So you don't end up like the cone heads from that weird movie. Uh, the next step is to cover your forehead. Yes, with hair. Like that. This step is very important. Now. This is a tricky part because someone might ask you to lift your hair up so they can see your hairline. What you want to do to this is make them do it first and then make fun of their forehead. Very simple process. Now, the hard part is when someone makes a knock-knock joke on your forehead. 
That is not okay, because it is the most offensive way to make fun of somebody. Due to their big foreheads. I mean, personally, I like these jokes because it's easy for me to make fun of people because I don't have a big forehead. Why? Because I followed all of these steps. And if you want to have a non-big forehead, all you have to do is follow them. Next, we have freeze. In this game, two actors perform a scene at any moment. Someone can shout from the crowd, freeze, and they must replace one person, creating a scene, a new scene, with the same pose they froze in. So, did you hear about that, um, that Boeing airplane that crashed yeah, into the ocean? Yeah, I did. I'm so sad. Freeze. Um, oh my gosh, have you seen that new, like, uh, what was it? A fish? Yeah, the it fish is so big. Yeah, it's like in the ocean. Freeze. It looks like <laughs> There's no more apple juices in this town. What? I know. Uh, the audacity of people to uh, drink all the apple juices. So annoying. Please. <laughs> have you seen my tiger anywhere? No. Like How last did time I checked, look like? you took him to your house. Oh, freeze! Um. Young man, why did I catch you sneaking out of your window at four in the morning? I had to go somewhere. Where? At four in the morning? Through your window? Freeze! Yeah. Why did I find your stuffies all over the floor after when I came in to check on you last night? Because I dropped them. No, I didn't. You obviously didn't drop them because I heard noises Freeze. on the floor in your bedroom. Freeze. So, why did you sneak out? I had something important to do. Important? At one in the morning? Freeze. I can't believe they took all the juice off. I know! It's like so annoying. I literally went to the store and was going to buy a whole Freeze. box of them. Wait, can put that here? I have the high ground. You can't do anything. I I'm can't. the alpha. <laughs> well, I'm the alpha too. What? Freeze. <laughs> Hoax map. <laughs> 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 I understand you're trying to get Jack, but like, what you're doing is not working. D oh, but dude, can't you see? I'm so freaking ripped, man. Look at me. I'm shredded. I'm absolutely shredded. It's Look. been 10 years. Freeze. I they took all the juice boxes. I know, right? Have you seen that new tiger, though? Uh, no. Wait, wait. I stopped this morning. Freeze. You need to change your outfit. It's hideous. You too. I mean, gray with black. Look at your shoes. They're so crusty. Look at your shoes. Freeze. So, th this is why I think that I should have my own room, Mom. No! But she's... Freeze. Have you seen God? You can't say that I have. Why do you ask? I'm looking for him. I oh, is he missing? Yeah, he's missing. Oh, no. 
What on his green earth are we gonna do? Yeah, I know. It's just like, where, where is he gone? I can't find him anywhere. I looked, I looked through a main tree. He wasn't there at his home usual. Oh my god, this is, oh my him, this is so bad. What are we gonna do? Freeze? I don't know. Okay. What's wrong? It's my birthday and everyone forgot. They all oh, went no. to David Buster's for sillies, but they didn't tell me. Oh, Grace. come then. I went to the store and there was orange juice, not apple juice. What? I need to speak to your manager. Um. I need my apple juice okay. right now. find all your toys all over the floor at 4 a.m. Why were you awake at 4 a.m.? <laughs> I needed a midnight snack! Oh, pre freeze! <laughs> Why are you crying, honey? What's wrong? <laughs> My boyfriend broke up with me! Dennis? Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Where is he? Where's Dennis? Uh, Where'd you put uh, him? Uh, Where uh, is he? <laughs> Oh my god, I love your Crocs. It's oh amazing. Oh my god, thanks. I got them for $4 at Walmart. $4? I know, it was such a steal. And look at the little gibbets, too. Oh my god, they're amazing. I know, I, I stole those from a Spencer. Stop, Freeze. <laughs> they took all the apple juices. No Freeze. way. No way. Oh my god! What the freak, man? What? What do you want? Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight right now? Do you want to fight right now? Happy birthday. Aw, oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Thank you for getting me this. Thank you for getting me this three-layer cake. No, I'm gonna go to somebody else's birthday party at David Buster's. What? <laughs> but Dad, I'm 32 now. <laughs> I don't even Please. live with you anymore. Wait, 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 wait. I was like, I can't believe the tiger ran away. I know, right, Michael? Like ten minutes ago, he was in his cage. Where did he go? Freeze! She said it first. Bad news. What? I kind of ate the tiger. Yeah. How could you? Freeze! My best Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I don't know. Where did she go? Search the closet. I did. Search under the. I did. Okay. Freeze! I said oh, first. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Kelly. <laughs> I wonder why there were no apple juice in that. I know. Just, there were just orange juice and freeze. I'm sorry, Miss. <laughs> Wait, I need mean, you can come back. <laughs> there was just raspberry juice. Pause, <laughs> freeze, whatever. Stop. Back you now. Wait. Back it up. Have you noticed that like everyone's getting mad about apple juice right recently and not I coming know. up with any original issues? I know. I got kind of one apple juice. Freeze. freeze. <laughs> Frozen, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Elsa, how could you? I'm your sister. You are? Yes. I never knew that. I have it. 
Thank you. <laughs> there's no lemon juice. When I, when I don't want apple juice, there's no apple juice. And when I need some other juice, there's that juice. No, of that juice. We should complain to the head of Please. apple juice. What are you doing right now? Uh, nothing. Well, you freeze. are doing something. Freeze, 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 freeze. We used to be bad buddies, but now we're not. Freeze! Welcome to town meeting. I am the mayor of this imaginary town, and I have gathered all the townspeople to discuss what needs to be fixed. The town members will bring up silly issues, and I must find a solution. Yes, Osmosis Jones. Uh, good evening, Mayor Philipson. Uh, I have a question about our current financial state. You have been repeatedly spending all of our, um, our budget on a uh, silly string. Do you plan on continuing this non-fair plan? Um, well you see Silly String is the code name as I am actually the one buying all the apple juice for our town. Alright, thank you Fair Mayor Pil Pil Philipson. Uh, Marjorie. Hello, yes, well I have two things. One, this mic is too tall. Um, all right, okay, here we go. So, I have a big issue. You ate my garden. No, that was your daughter. My daughter and my daughter? Yes, that I... makes That makes a lot of sense, thank you. No problem, I can help. Uh, front row person. So. I don't understand why you keep making us pay taxes with pennies. Not all of us got pennies. So I got kicked out of my house, me and my family. Um. How can we solve this? Illegally import more pennies. <laughs> Great idea, I'll look into that. Uh, back row person. Um, so you know, uh, Anna? Elsa's sister. Oh yeah, I know her. Uh, she kind of got trapped in your lair. And how do I know that? Can you fix that? Uh, <laughs> I don't have a lair. Um, no, I can't fix that. No, sorry. And then how did Elsa tell me that you have a lair? Because the ice affected her brain. She uh, has terminal COVID-19. <laughs> COVID-19 already passed. No, it didn't. Yes, oh, if I might chime in here, Mr. Mayor. Oh, yes, I'll Mr. Jones. He does not have a lair. That is, the that is the town center that we're meeting in right now. It's not a lair. But while I'm up Madonna. here, yes. Uh, while I'm up here, I do have a question. Uh, please stop calling me Osmosis Jones. My name's Rebecca. Thank oh. you. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rebecca Jones. Uh, it's <laughs> Philipson. <laughs> we're related. Yeah. Back row person two. So, I heard that you drank a lot of the apple juice. No, I bought it for the whole town. For the whole town? Then why do I go, when I go to the supermarket, there's no more apple juice? So I bought it all from the supermarket, to be specifically for our lovely town here. No. Yes. I need apple juice. There's lemon juice. Here, I found one. Okay. Uh, you. Um, curls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this mic is again too tall for me. Um, why do people keep breaking into my house via the windows? Because your house is amazing and they just think you deserve better window? <laughs> <laughs> okay! Uh, you, non-curl. <laughs> why are we meeting in here? Uh, because apparently we have issues. 
Go ahead, answer. Uh, I forgot your name. Marjorie. Marjorie. So, every time I break this, every time I do a good deed and and break a very breakable window and make it look even better, someone keeps fixing it. Mm. I mean, and, and, and people keep complaining. They're like, I, like, I did a good thing and I deserve to take something as compensation. Hmm. Then take something as compensation. <laughs> Thank you. Front row person two. Why do we live in the middle of a volcano? Why not? <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> uh, Rebecca Jones. <laughs> Thank you. Now the issue at hand. Why, every time we get a lovely donation from another town, why do you then go and spend that on hair gel? Um, this doesn't happen on its own, you know. Also, apparently you're related, so part of that is yours. Dad. <laughs> no, I'm your brother. Oh. Thank you. Man. Uh. Curls. Just to inform you, my name is not Curls. So sorry, Curly. <laughs> now, my name, him, is, ah, uh, no, I think, I forgot my name. Relatable. <laughs> but again, I am related to you. No. I am your mother. No. Uh, back row person. It's Princess Diana's mom, actually. Yes, back row person. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I said. Uh, so Princess Diana wants to make um, a garden, but somebody keeps breaking the garden fence. That sounds like a Princess Diana problem. Not a you problem, or a me problem. Thank you. Again. <laughs> Front row person one. What's your issue? Many. But I am gonna start with the most important one. Mm, mm. At night, it is way too dark. I can't deal with this. I need my nightlight. Mm. And you are not supplying the town with some? I agree with Rebecca Jones. Stop using that hair gel money. <laughs> Get apple juice, number one. I did. And nightlight. Ah. Here. I think you're schizophrenic and hate this. It's a nightlight. Uh. Ah, Marjorie! Did. Yes, I, yeah. I knew that. I was talking about a big problem. Apparently, my house was built on a time restoration, and now I'm, and now I'm 102. That is a problem for the excavator. Uh, Can you yes, Rebecca Jones. Him? Please take your meds, Grandma. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I've contracted tuberculosis in the middle of this meeting. I have one last question. Yes. So, you know, why? What's it all for? Why are you the mayor? Why am I say that we no longer follow a, I say we vote, hey. not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Uh, yeah! We only have about two more questions left for this meeting because the strawberry festival is about to start, and then the peach festival is about to start, and the blueberry festival is about to start, Ooh. and then we're having the non festival festival about to start. Oh, damn. All right. Uh, what's your problem? Why can't juice? there be an apple festival? The You're strawberry right. festival. We're going to have to change that right now. Hey, I'm how about you get some of this apple juice? I'm going to write the Declaration of Independence right now. Rewrote it. Uh -huh. But I need an apple festival right now. Let me just make a quick phone call. No! Don't open the ring! <clears throat> yes, we're getting one. Okay. And finally, back row person. You haven't gone in a while. 
My grandma needs meds. <laughs> and there's no, uh, there's no more in the store. You need more. Then go to another town. Well, I went to another town, New York City. I don't know if that's a town. <laughs> Y'all should get some of his apple juice. That's pretty good. It's organic. What? It's organic. game is called question so the basic concept of this game is is that in this in this game two improv actors will will be improving a scene except this twist they can they can only speak in questions and so and so this is a sort of elimination thing if if you if you if you take too long or accidentally say something that isn't a question, then you are out. the The game ends when only one person is left. Without further ado, let's begin. Have you ever wondered why the planet is green? Have you ever Have you ever wondered why we exist? Have you ever wondered why the floor is gray? Why can't it be blue? Have you, ever, have you ever wondered why why gray exists? Have you ever wondered why I exist? Have you ever wondered what what the meaning of what the meaning of, of all these different colors are? Why do they all exist? What is their chemical compounds? Have you ever wondered why people wear Crocs? <laughs> have you ever have you ever wondered why why we can only speak in questions? Have you ever wondered why? Why we speak in questions? Have you ever wondered what why we are why we are in a studio? Have you ever wondered why can't we be outside? Have you have you ever wondered have you ever wondered what have you ever wondered what, why why this why this why the sun is so, is so radioactive that, that that we need a protective layer in the atmosphere? Have you ever wondered why there's a sun inside? Have you ever wondered why people think you're crazy? Have you ever wondered why there's multiple suns out inside? Have you ever wondered? Have you ever wondered why people why people suggest you take schizophrenia meds? Have you ever wondered if you're crazy? Have you, have you ever have you ever wondered if you are, if you are the only person who really exists and everything else and every single other person and every single other object is just a, is just a figment of your imagination? Have you ever wondered if you are in a coma? Have you, have you ever have you ever wondered if if everyone is secretly in a coma and is everyone is secretly in a in a coma and we and we all just and we're, and we're, and we're all just and we're all just essentially illusions? Have you ever wondered why there's different colored suns like purple and blue? Have you ever have you ever have you ever wondered if this if this is all a dream and and we and we're all following some set script of of someone else and we're, and when they wait and when they inevitably inevitably wake up we 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 will we will die we will we will exit existence. Have you ever wondered why you're wearing a Pokemon shirt? Have you ever have you ever wondered why the, why the create why why the creator of Pokemon in, in, in Japan came up with the idea? Have you ever wondered why your Crocs are blue? Have you ever have you ever wondered what why why you why you're calling black Crocs blue? Why did all the apple juice leave the world? Why, why, why is everyone so fixated on apple juice jokes? Why does that painting over there look so beautiful? Why are you referencing a painting that doesn't exist? Doesn't that plant look pink instead of blue? Why would it be blue? <laughs> why? Is there only a piece of the sun? What are you talking about? Have you ever wondered why you're wearing that shirt? Have you ever have you ever wondered why, have you ever wondered why sh why shirts were created? Have you ever wondered why? You're asking that. Have you ever, have you ever, have you 
ever um, wondered what have you ever um, wondered why 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 we why humans why humans feel the, feel the need to to wear clothes while when other when other creatures are perfectly content are perfectly content to to simply have to simply have bare skin have you ever, have you ever wondered how long this will take have you ever, have you ever wondered have you ever wondered who, who who came up with this game have you ever wondered why they came up with this game? Have you have you ever have you ever wondered have you ever wondered why you are so in, why you, why you are so insistent to, to keep going when to keep going when you when you know that when you know that eventually yeah it will all mean, it when you know that eventually it will all mean nothing. What's your name? Have you have you ever wondered why why humans feel the need to have names? Have you ever wondered why they're a sun? Have you ever, have you ever wondered what? Have you ever wondered what actually created the universe? Have you wondered why you have a name? You already said that. Why do you think that your hair is brown? Have you ever wondered why the color brown is a brown? The color. Why are you avoiding my question? Have you ever wondered why I'm not answering your question? Why would I if I am asking this? Have you ever wondered if I'm not listening to you? Are you listening to me? Have you ever heard people not listening to you? Why are you asking? Are you not listening to me? Maybe, maybe not. Our final game of the evening is called Breaking News. A couple of our cast members wrote wacky breaking news headlines ahead of time, and our new ca newscasters have ev never seen these before. And n the new cast new <laughs> newscasters will read the headlines and make up a news story to go along with them. Breaking news, the sun has gained hands and eaten Mars. This is outrageous, what are we gonna do? Poor Mars, any thoughts on this? Wake up! What did you say again? Oh, any thoughts on the sun growing hands and eating Mars? That is completely outrageous and I am going to fall asleep because I am so sleepy. <laughs> Moving on, that is completely wrong. I don't even know what to say. Poor Mars, go and cry about it at home. More breaking news, check it out. Breaking news, Canadian geese have swapped personalities with people. How outrageous. Wow. Yes. That is <laughs> out. No, ducks are screaming in pain and humans are going quack, quack, quack. That is insane. I don't even know what to say. Except quack. Quack. Thank you for watching. My name is The Little Mermaid. And my name is Kung Fu Panda Officer. No, Officer Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. Can you start? No, you start. <laughs> I pooped my pants, and now the pants are mad at me. How you know dare you? No. I think. I think I have a stain on my boot. <laughs> <laughs> so, why are the pants mad at you? Uh, I think because I pooped in them. Yeah. Breaking news! My mom is missing! Hello? My mom's missing! She was last seen in my house. I checked my closet. I checked my closet. This is your mom, by the way. Shh. I checked my closet and she's not there. I checked the cupboards in my kitchen. They're pretty too small, but I she's not there. So if you see a five feet woman with, is that my mom's hair? <laughs> How?
How dare you? <laughs> Welcome to the news. I am your host, Tom Trench. And, and I am also your host, the Hamburglar. <laughs> Breaking news! Local residents at a public pool say that there was a whale at the pool. Turns out, it was just a blue lazy boy armchair. Wow. Any thoughts on that? I'm kind of hungry. Interesting! But I think this is outrageous. I, I, I do not know how people could mistake this for a whale. They it's just, just silly. They're just, that's just so considerate. Unconsiderate of them. Yeah. And other news. In other news. Someone who was trying to witness Guinness World Record tried to cheat by using someone with a large oval head to win Biggest Bean Award. <laughs> what do we think about that? <laughs> We're not laughing. We are crying at how, how outrageously this bad this is. And um, As someone with a Guinness record myself, most hamburgers um, smuggled not through the mouth. I think that this is absolutely outrageous. Guinness World Records is the most, the only good constitution we have left in America, besides the Girl Scouts, of course. <laughs> and I think that this is absolutely appalling that someone would use this poor man with an oval-shaped head to win Biggest Bean Award. Is there anything else happening? Uh, I don't believe there is nothing else on the news. Mm. Um, so about that Guinness World Record you have? Yep. <laughs> nice job. Thank I also you. have one. Most trenches blown up in mm. World War II. So, so silly. Well, signing off, I'm the Hamburglar, and watch your pantries. I'm Tom Trench. Watch the skies. Thank you for watching.